Okay, folks, just a wee quick underpainting for this one. This uh, canvas seems a bit warped down here. I'll have to glue this one to a board. Right, so this is very fine, extra, extra fine cotton canvas. So I'm just going to put up some, some background on this. Now, darks, uh, it's all just going to be a, a mess of colour. I have a bit of an idea what, what I'm going to put up here, but it's going to be a bit of a mess of a colour. Warms and greens and yellows and all shapes and sizes, all shapes and sizes. Okay. Now, get some in here and just see. Uh, a bit thinner. I don't want it to be so thick that I can't go over this in a, a moment. A nice and warmish one over on this side. As I say, well, I have an idea, but I've already planned it out. Just sitting here, sitting in the, the living room, looking at photo after photo after photo. And then you come up with a bit of an idea as to where you want it and how you want it. It's the way that I, it's my process and I, I quite like it. It does it for me. Ready, warmy one over in the side here. So I'm going to put this one on and then wipe this off. This is just a bit of a of a reflection here. As I say, just a preliminary um, uh, idea so just wipe this back a bit wipe it back a bit again this is just the, the reflection down in here look at the colors that that leaves behind how warm that is lovely and green and uh, Quite a nice effect that actually. Right, so I'll put on a little bit of the sky. And let me just see what I'm doing here. A little bit of the sky. A nice grey blue sky. With an orange here and there. In fact, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll put the, the orange in first. Mm hmm. I'm mainly just playing here with some some uh, what do you call that stuff? Mineral spirits here. Nice and red around the edges. This will allow me to bring the blue into it without uh, it turning too green on me. It's just a wee trick. Anytime you're working with yellow, just bring in a bit of red into it, make it more red, and uh, you should end up with a with a not so green blue. Right, so I want a grey here. I want to use this to grey it, or to knock some of it back anyway. Let me see, where am I? Now that's quite a green blue, so a bit of red in it. Should knock it back, and I'm gonna use a little bit of black as well. Now, I think I'm almost there, it's just far too dark. Okay, I think so.
Yep, wee bit of blue, wee bit more. You got a bit bluer. But I still think I'm a bit dark. Eh, eh a wee bit dark, not much. Wasn't too far out there. Okay. Just being slightly bit cautious, don't want it to go too green on me. There we go. Then you come up here, put a little bit in here, a little bit round here, just to help with that transition there. Okay. Now, just bring in a good bit of red into it, just in here. All right, let's take a little bit of the, a uh, little bit out of the sky. So we're gonna put in a, a bit of a brighter point here. Work all this in together. Okay, so let's get in a, a uh, white yellowish epicenter here. So some detail, some liquid fine detail and some of this here and just work this in it should help whiten it for, for now all right okay this is a fast moving fast paced one at the minute so now i'm just going to use this here this should help a bit of ultramarine or uh Raw umber there, a bit more, get it nice and darkish. Okay. And put in some of these stones along here. I'm a bit brighter in certain areas. Okay. Let me see, and let me see, what will we do? Okay, some more, get a good bit of red into this and some white into it. I want to dull it back a bit. Blue is always a good duller. But if you really want to take it back, add a bit of green. Helps dull it back a touch. Give me some spirits, give me some liquid. And let me just put in the Just put in some rocks here, just to... And of course, all of this will make sense. Hopefully it'll make sense. Need to take this back a bit. Right, okay, so. Create a small rock ish about here ish. Right, okay. Now, this, this one up in here, I'm not too happy with. But I will work on it again here, so I will. I just I want it to be a bit more of a silhouette than what it is, so I'm going to just create a, a slightly darker one that, that that's up there.
<laughs> um, not in a very talkative mood today, folks. I just want to get on with it today. I hope you don't mind. I'm sure sometimes you, you're screaming, shut up, shut up, and just do it. <laughs> what I'm trying to do at the minute, just create different tones in these rocks. So they look irregular. And so, create the shape of everything. The good thing about rocks is they really do teach you how tones work. That the close the closeness of the tones, some of them are literally just a half a step, a quarter of a step away in tone. And that helps shape the rock. Helps create the corners and the, the bends in them. Just all these different, slightly lighter, slightly darker tones. Just really helps create the shape of it. <clears throat> I 
even although rocks do have straight edges. Yeah. Let me see this. Yes, although they have straight edges, um, um, they don't have really long straight edges. So just break them up a little bit with a cut here and there. Anyway, let's uh, work on putting these reflections in a little bit. All right. So uh, the, the texture that that creates as you drag that across the, the dry paint, it's quite, quite a lovely texture. Right, okay, now let me just see, do I want to put in, I'll uh, just put in a wee one here and there, just. This big main one here, this is the one you want to see the most of. This one here, still not happy with this, but I, I will fix it up. Let me just see now where I am. Right. I've got plenty of different tones and colours on the, on the palette here. I'll just create some purples and violets. I'm just going to scrape a lot of this on actually. Almost a dry brush. A bit too dark. You can see what I'm trying to do here, folks. I'm just trying to create some randomness.
a little bit brighter up here uh, acting as a highlight Okay, and just having a wee look see, and I think I'm just going to leave this as is. Maybe I'll put a bit of darkness in it here and there, but okay. <clears throat> just cut this in here. And the same with the odd bit in here, just breaking into it. Right, I'm going to take a walk back here. How will we look? I enjoyed that. Very concentrating, you know. Yep, okay, so far. I think I'll, I'll just use a bit of a, a knife on a part of this here. <coughs> just to, to get the edge that I'm after. Oops, that dizzy. That's what you get for not checking your knife. Okay, right, anyway, no, that's I'll do for now. So I'm going to do the wee trick here of just pulling out some of this here. See, all, the, all I'm doing is just pulling a little bit of the paint off here. And it's, it's, because it's an extra fine cotton canvas, it can come off pretty easily makes it look rough okay no <coughs> Now what I'm going to do, folks, if I can find it, is I'm going to dip a little bit of this into spirits and then wipe it off. Just let, just wipe it off on a bit of towel there. And now I'm going to create some trees by pulling them out, just here. Now it's not going to come out straight away. I'm gonna take a moment or two for that to sink in. And then I'll come along and wipe it off. Right, so I'm, this is the dry side of it now and I should be able to just pull some of this off. You see? Now, and the same over here. That gives me those those trees that I'm after. And I might even just leave them as is, but we'll see. 
So let, I want to put some sky in this now. Now where's that little soft brush that I had? Okay. So I'll put some of the color in here. Now I'm staying away from this on purpose. This is going to maybe one of the last things I do, but we'll see. Um, uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So a nice red. Let's see here. It has faces on it. Are you talking about? Anyway. in there slightly dark I mean literally just a bit uh, half a tone down and I'm going to just be careful with this here I want to make sure that it's not too bad looking things going on. and have a wee look at this. I'll put my glasses on to do such a thing. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, that, that, that looks a bit better. Indeed it does. Right now, let's work on the reflections. I think that I've done it that time, so. And the reflections, a little bit underneath here. Um, Certainly a bit of a darkish here. 
Uh, maybe a bit darker than that, maybe. I'm unsure. Let me see. Just here. A bit brighter in certain areas. Is that the base here? Is it meeting the water? And then these ones here, a little bit here. And then the odd one in the distance here, just. Not a lot will get covered up with. A lot of that will get covered up with some um, uh, the reflections with the ripples of the water. I'm just going to work this in until it darkens a little bit. Okay, now we have ourselves a, a bit of a reflection. Now let me see how dry this is up here. No, it's still not dry enough. Right, okay. Now I'm going to just work along here. Get some gray onto this wall, this back wall here. Let me see. Touch, 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 touch brighter. Let me see now, just. Just scraping that on. Nice and gently in order for me to be able to leave behind a lot of those cracks and, and what have you. about there we go okay now let's put in some actual real cracks of the building on the the, uh, the rocks so let's get in some real cracks that would be looking for a darker let me just check this first. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. So, you old trusty. Here, let me just see now. Right. I have a feeling that this isn't dark enough. Not too bad, you know, it's not it's not too bad. Here and there and there and here. You can just about see that. And that's me, I, I know that you can't see it. Okay. 
No, I've decided to stop keeping my brushes along here because I'm going in and sitting down and forgetting about them. I'm gonna come back and they're all dried. So I'm making a conscious effort to not do that anymore. Yeah, all right, okay, now. Yes, better. <clears throat> happier, more precisely, I'm a bit happier with that now. So what I wanna do now here, just over here, I'm going to deglaze this area over here while I'm at it. Just get myself a nice cool glaze in here. And I'm going to use some black, some thalo green, some cerulean, and I think that that might actually be okay as a glaze. Maybe a little bit of umber. So let me see here. Uh, need to mix that a bit better. Pulling up some cerulean there. So, right. Let's just get all this all worked in. Now I'm going to be covering most of it, and then I'll wipe. Wipe it off again, as always, my wee thing to do. Okay, I just want this darker in here. Just a wee flat brush here, uh, Da Vinci size 8 flat brush, and I got another Da Vinci size 4, and it's a little bit beaten up, but uh, hit the uh, brush bristles there. Right, so, <coughs> let's just put in a little bit of, of water. So, a well split out brush here, and just follow it here and there, and I think maybe a bit more blue. The white, the pure white can come later. to bring in this other brush. All right, okay. Just little slithers here and there and there and here. Here and there and there and here. Valety colors here. Let me see now, I just want to bring in this. A bit brighter. And a bit more white. Okay, I 
let this just let this dance a little bit. Don't be afraid of it. Okay, now we're we're motoring nigh. Right, let me how we look. Okay, right. I'm getting I'm getting the effect that I want here. That's good. I just need it to be a bit brighter in certain areas, but so far, so far, so yes. Okay, now, I wanna come over here. Now, I'm not gonna stay, I'm not gonna really touch this area here. I'm gonna stay away from, because I still have to work on the sky and work on this area. So I'm just going to do those both at the same time. But I can work over here for the time being. Now, this here's still a bit wet, so I'm just going to be a bit careful up around here. Right, okay, let me just get myself a wee bit of a, a blotch in here as it were. Just a bit of a blotch of, of color just in here. See the wee odd swirl here and there too, just let that come around like so. Because it's a flat brush it leaves that trail behind. A lovely effect. <coughs> okay, now. Now what is there left to do? I think there are a couple of things here. This here needs darkened and fixed up. And uh, the highlights in here. In fact, what I will do is I will actually do that now. <coughs> so a bit of a, um, uh, a bit of a warmer. of a warmer glaze in here. Right, okay, so black and some red. Tiniest bit of ultramarine, a bit of raw umber, and lots, not lots, but some. Some um, uh, thingy me jig there. Want that to move a bit better than that. A little bit more thinner than that still. I don't want it to be so thick. But I 
can't do much with it, but they should give it a nice, you can see the way that's filling it in, how, how matte this became here, over here. And this will give it a nice warmer, warmish tone. Course, you put it on. I should have used a bigger brush for this, of course I should have, but um, but I didn't. So there. Right. Right, okay. So now let's take a good bit of it off. It's just not back a touch, nice and gently. As I, I often forget that this is a extra fine cotton canvas and you can, you can lift the paint on these if you're not careful. And I'm just taking the surface of this off. to actually use a cloth to do the rest of it and just big long big broad strokes for it there we go there we go right now That's good. That's nice and damn uh, higgledy piggledy, as it were. So, let's put in some greenery in this. I think there may be a bit too much. Ah, nope. That's wrong. Going to re establish this over here. <clears throat> That's a bit better. Now I'm moving towards it. It's a bit better. Mm, bit redder. Right, let's see. No. I use a larger brush for this, I think. and just putting in some of the greenery that's in here. And there we go. And then let's establish the odd fern here and there. Right, I'll leave this, I'll leave this for now. I don't wanna be messing around too much with that. At this stage, I just wanna 
I see my if I can get my there we go yep and the same here too See this here, I'm just taking the, the cotton wool off the most of it and because of the little tube underneath it, it creates a sharper edge here, and just a sharper edge and uh, you should be able to scrape a bit better here. And just work it in now. Soften them up a little bit. There we go. Now it looks kind of rough in there. So, not entirely done. Just out of, I'm just trying something here out of curiosity. One of these little scrapey pencils. <laughs> Look at that. That works well. So it does. You slightly cover that up. I was just curiosity folks, I won't be using that now, we just wanted to see. All right. right, there's still a little bit of color on this brush, so that's kind of messed that little area up a little bit, but easy fix. Okay, right, I'm getting there now, happy enough with this now. So, yeah. So far, so far. Now, I want this to be a bit warmer up in here, and I will make that a short lay. So I will, so I will. But I may as well work, continue to work on this water here. afraid to change the colors up and whatnot get a bit of purple into it you know, nice nice colors and whatnot put a bit of green in it just to dull that violet back a bit a little bit of uh, what do you call that stuff? Galcade on it. And help it move a little bit more. Oh, 
Okay, so. <clears throat> Let me just see here. I'm just trying to, I'm just thinking out loud a wee bit, of folks here. Now, I think what I'll do is that I will brighten this area up here. It's where the, the light is shining after all, so. Bit brighter. I think I'll add a little bit of yellow to it. Just to help it glow a touch. A little tiny bit of the galkite on it. And then, okay, a bit better. And then I'll put a bit of multi colors into it when they get the chance. This is a, a slight warp on it, this canvas. It's been hanging there for quite a while. In a few months, as I've said. Now all I'm gonna do is slightly scumble this on here. Just gently. <coughs> okay. All right, I'm, I'm getting happy with this now. All right, so what do I need to do? What do I need to do? I need to blend this area, make it all come together as one. So let's just do that. Let's just work all this in together. There we go. It's coming together as one piece, all leading into the to each other. <laughs> too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. And a simple solution is you just wipe it off. Nothing special. You just wipe it off. Now I'm just taking a moment here to take a little stand back and have a look at these rocks. So I think what I'm going to do with the rocks, I'm going to scumble a little bit of uh, brighter stuff on it and then wipe it off and it should leave a small residue of highlight behind it <clears throat> okay let me make sure this brush is relatively dry just here and there and there and here folks is all yeah, I think that's a bit too bright I'm just going to take a load off the brush here, and all I'm going to do is scumble this on. Now, I think that I have gone too bright, so let's knock it back a touch. That should help with the, um, uh, the highlight here, and another one just here. All right, let me see, okay. Not happy with it, folks. I think it's a bit too bright. So I'm just going to try a little something here. Kind of give them all that little bit of a, of a light on them. And this light is shining through. Just not happy with this one. I'm going to take a, a, a good bit of this off. There we go. <coughs> yes, I think that's better. I do think that's better. And now I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to darken a few areas with the same brush. Nice cool 
dark here. There's some ultramarine, some uh, cerulean, and some black. This time it's going to be glazed on. Nice and cool. Just down in here, creating nice sharp edges right up in here. And then boom, just to create that edge and let it fade down into it. And the same again over here on a nice sharp edge. Boom, boom. Right across, and just let it fade down into the water there. Just pull this in here and just help create that um, impression of, a, of the water's edge here, just going into the rock. Uh, as I say, this is slightly warped, so it's harder to, to work around, but not impossible. Not impossible. No. I think I'm going to put in just a few twigs here and there. And, uh, we'll see. Some twigs just breaking away, things that have fallen, they're going to be rotting away all in the water and whatnot. It helps create a little bit of variance, a little bit of uh, randomness too. Right, let me see. I'm not happy with the, the, the skylights in here. Probably waiting. I was going to say I'll wait until they're dry, but you know what? I am not going to do that. But uh, I'm using Galcade today, so it it tacks up very, very, very quickly. And it's probably quite tacky, but now, yeah, it is. Right, so I want them a bit warmer, just like that's my problem with it. So let's make them a bit warmer then. soften that in so it looks like it it's coming through the tree rather than the other way around I want a cool blue up in here a proper cool blue okay I 
think this is a bit bright. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, so it is a bit bright, yes. Darken it down a touch. A little bit of lamp black just to darken it down a bit. I'm going to wipe a little bit of this off the brush. Just so I can scumble a bit of a shape on here. You see, a little bit of coolness in it. In certain areas, and, and you really don't want too much. You just want to... Uh, no, that will do. Now I'm going to scrape a little bit of this off to... I wouldn't say to go back to the canvas, but... So I'm using a little bit of uh, spirits here, and I'm just going to... I just want to brighten this area up a touch. You see the way that that's allowing that to pull off? Oops, if Daisy had a, something on my finger there. Alright, okay. Some things breaking through the trees, as it were. Now I'm not entirely happy with the sky, but I'm, I will fix that. I will fix that now. So I will. Not too unhappy with it either. Like I don't want to be too mean to myself. I just want it a bit brighter, maybe a bit more yellow in certain areas. And that's what I'm going to do. Yep, oh, that's a bit better. I see, just going to have a wee overall look at this. And uh, maybe put a few more ticks and flicks on it here and there. And Maybe I'll call that one a day. Okay, let me see. Just thinking as I'm working along, just thinking, just thinking, just thinking. Uh, a few more ticks and flicks here and there, and we'll see um, where we are. Just using this wee beat up palette knife. And all I want is a few twigs. Okay, let me see here. It's just adding odds a help odds a bit of life to it just hopefully anyway that's the impression I'm trying to give hopefully now it works out that, that way all right now I, I think yeah, and then I'm all but done here. And just a few here and there. Um, I'm kind of just messing around with it in my mind at the time, but I know, I know, I know what I'm forgetting. Just there's some water level here. Now this is a bit warped, so I'm just gonna pull this out so that I can see if I can. No. The canvas is just a, as a touch warped on me, so I'm going to hold it in here. A 
and down in here too. There we go. All right, folks, I think I'll do, maybe put a little, let me see, let me just, sometimes you can be a bit too pernickety, you know. No, I think I'll do it, folks. Right, let's remove this sticky stuff, this tape. Okay. I got my big arms out of the way on a second here. I just want to get this done. Oh, nearly there, folks. Nearly there. And I think that I can go oh, call this a day then. Happy enough with this, I must say. Nice and colourful. Little waterfall type thing. There we go. Almost. There we go. Uh, it's got a bit of a babble in it, but... Uh, sort that out. Yeah, I think that's dead on now, folks. What do you think? Okay, right, well, if there's anything else I need to do on it, I'll, uh, I'll record it and I'll do it. Okay, folks? All the best and thanks for watching. And um, if you can, please like and subscribe. Um, and all the best and I'll see you soon.